What's up everyone, this is Autogus Tech, and I have iOS 15 on this device, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get rid of iOS 15 and downgrade to iOS 14 without losing any of your data. Now, the reason you may want to downgrade could be because of glitches. Apparently, the software is flawless for people up until they try to use FaceTime and then they have issues. And people like to FaceTime their friends and stuff, so they're having issues, they're trying to fix them, and because it's a beta, they just keep running into problems. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can downgrade to iOS 14 without losing your data. So let's get started with this video. First thing you want to do is you're going to want to delete any iOS 15 beta profiles that you have installed. So the way you do this is you go into your settings app, click on general, scroll down, and there should be a profiles section. Now, if you do not have any profiles there, then you're good to go. So when I do software update, it says I am on iOS 15. You can see right there, and I'll be showing you how to downgrade. So you will need a Mac or a Windows computer. If you did update to iOS 15, and you don't have a computer, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sure there's a method out there, but this isn't for you. But basically, what you wanna do is take your iPhone cable, making a lot of noise, and plug it into your Mac or Windows computer. So you could see that I got this here, plug this in, and then bam, this should load up here. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go to this website, I will link it down below in the description. You wanna make sure your computer recognizes your iPhone as well. So I'm going to minimize this, and yeah, just ignore all the chaos in the background. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is on the website, select your device. So if you have an iPhone or an iPad, just select that. And this is an iPhone uh, 10R. so I'm going to select that. So scroll down, now, if you have an iPhone that is not from America, you're going to want to choose Global. If you have an iPhone that is from America, choose GSM. All right? So if you have that option, you're going to want to do that. But I have an iPhone XR, so I'm just going to click on that. So now that I got this, you're going to want to install the IPSW file for iOS 14. So this could be different by the time you're watching this, but if you're watching this, like right after you got iOS 15, the day it was released, you should be good to go. But maybe in the future, this could be 14.7 or 14.8. Just install the latest version of iOS 14. You do that by just clicking on it. You might get some advertisements. It's a big update, but you're gonna wanna download it. And that is so you can downgrade your iOS 15 device. Now on this website, it says if the download button does not work, copy this URL that it has into a new tab and then it will begin to install and I did exactly just that I was having that issue and then it worked so you can see that the IPSW file is now installing right down here and I will be showing you what to do next so what you're going to want to do is go ahead and then you can click show in finder for the IPSW file but if you have a Mac open up finder to access your plugged in iPhone if you have a Windows computer, you're gonna to wanna to install iTunes. So once you install iTunes, uh, there's a link down below in the description, so that way you can do that if you have a Windows computer. But once you have iTunes installed, that's how you're gonna interact with your plugged in iPhone. Now, from here on, once you have either iTunes or you're in Finder, what you're gonna to wanna to do is do the following. If you have a Mac, option click. If you have a Windows computer, shift click and you'll see what I mean in a second. So where my iPhone says iOS 15 and then check for update, I'm going to option click and then click check for update because I have a Mac. Now what I'm gonna do is if you were to have a Windows, you shift click. But what I'm gonna do now is find that IPSW file. So I'm just gonna search by .IPSW and I'm going to wait. So you can see, I want to find it's this one. So click on update. Now, you have the option to update or restore. Do not restore or you will lose your information. Now, you could also back up your device before you do this because the goal is to not lose data. So if there are any errors, 
when installing this update, you would want your device to be backed up. So my Mac is now preparing the software update. I've got my iPhone plugged into the computer and we will see what happens next. And you can see that my iPhone is now restarting. So this will get iOS 14.6 or whatever the IPSW was. Thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.